Come on, let's let's. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna boost the thing again. We're gonna go into this screen. Let's see. We are going to extend that loan for now. Okay. How close is the next closest province? Okay, so Silgo will pop next month. Worth waiting for. Aberdeen's probably worth waiting for. We've got like two more months on that one. We're going to extend that loan for now. Send the loan for now. Okay, who is next and are you worth waiting for? This is worth waiting for. This is going to be like a month. Two months at most. Quest. France wants to share our knowledge of the region of Guinea. Sure. Lithuania has internal conflicts. All right. Limerick. Okay, Cork is going to pop next month. We're going to use the military as workforce to improve the capital. Uh, yeah, let's wait a little longer. Just trying to save as much money as possible. So we'll wait on Limerick. We'll wait on... Um, Connect, probably. Extend the loan for now. Oh, we're capped again on mill power. To everyone who's been screaming at me, I apologize. Extend the loan for now. Okay. So Connect is very close. Inverness is very, very close. Trade failure. Um, Diplo power. Burgers gain loyalty. Sounds good. Okay, so. We'll wait for Connect, because they have some development over there. And then we should be able to repay some loans with what we have left. Okay. Anyone at 90% or above? Yeah. 90, 89. End of internal conflicts. I'm not going to get it for free, but we're going to get it pretty cheap. It's nice about playing tall, for sure. Stand alone for now. Extend the loan for now. Are we at a point where it's going to make sense to... Yes, we are. Okay, Desmond. That is all the waiting we'll do. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and embrace the institution for 172. We're going to pay back as many loans as we can. Uh, and then we're going to start teching. So we're going to get the next admin, which will increase our production efficiency, which is very good. We'll get the next level of Diplo. And then we'll go ahead and get the Matchlock Musket. And we can't tech any further than that, or we will be unbalanced. We've caught up in diplomatic and military. Um, so that should help to some degree. See what our interest payments go down to next month. Everlasting friendship. And we have an heir named Henry. Oh wow. Who is this who is this woman? Uh Elizabeth. Okay, she's a Scottish Protestant. Um from a local family. Free thinker with amazing stats. We could keep her as ruler forever. That would be amazing. <laughs> Our air's not too bad either. 
Okay. Um, so we have colonialism. You can check that off the list. That has improved our economy significantly. Um, the production efficiency at least has. So, yeah, it's uh, really just a race to make our colonies profitable. That's what this, this campaign is going to be about for a while. Kind of, kind of exciting in a weird, like, unusual way. Um, we also have two more force limit slots available to us at the moment. I feel like maybe we should spend them on cavalry. We'll wait till the next loan comes out. Okay. Just because I do want to be able to uh, defend ourselves if we have to. Call of the Hunt. Our young men living in Sicknicht are best at best half civilized. They learn from and admire the nearby native people. So, um, Sicknicht is this province right here. So they are uh, they're hearing from and uh, trading with. The Abenaki and Mi'kmaq people who live nearby. Um, and many yearn to cast aside their home to become wanderers and hunters in the great wilderness beyond our borders. Because as uh, we have currently set native trading policy. Um, so we can condemn this foolishness. They might as well explore a bit. Ooh. Well, that's a colonial governor. We couldn't hire him. We don't have the money. As long as they bring back some furs. Well, what is the current trade good there? It is already fur. So I'm going to condemn the foolishness for now. Poland, the Council of Stolp. His Holiness the Pope is tasked a commission with, of cardinals with addressing the challenges posed by the Protestant movement. Well, the Catholic faith, faith itself um, must not be compromised. His Holiness and most cardinals are willing to admit that some Protestant complaints are valid. Therefore, the Council advises many changes to the administration of the Church, a stop to absentee bishops and the worldly excesses of the clergy. In addition, several new monastic orders to be founded to aid in the efforts of the Counter-Reformation. So Poland is uh, unsurprisingly becoming the center of the Counter-Reformation. Uh, Germany's become very Protestantized. Hasn't really caught on anywhere else. Although the New World is going to end up being very Protestant. Uh, if we have anything to say about it. Do we even have any innovativeness to lose? I guess a little bit. Alright. Built back up to our force limit. Should probably continue to grow up, go up as we have to continually dump military power. And, uh, yeah, colonies are coming along nicely, especially with these native assimilation events. So we're going to have, we're going to have a much more native, um, influenced, uh, colonial world than, you know, kind of what happened with the French and the English. Commedia dell'arte performances. Hear ye, hear ye, let loose Pantalone, Harlequin, and all the other stock characters of the traditional Commedia dell'arte on your unsuspecting population and watch as they are entertained by the antics and shenanigans. I love some antics and shenanigans. Um, let's see. A good piece of comedy can make anyone forget for a while that their everyday lives are wasted away laboring under the yokes of tyrannical rulers. Plus, it's fun. Uh, we lose money, but we gain prestige. Or we lose prestige. Eh, we can, we can, we can spare that. Prestige is good. Charles de Valois of France. Okay, we're losing like a, sh a significant amount of money right now. Is Greenland prospering yet? No. It's getting there. It's getting there. Religious civil disorder. Good deal. How about... Um, how about the home islands? 
So Munster is prospering, Connacht is prospering, Leinster, uh, Ulster's almost there. And that gives us how much of a income boost? Goods produced plus 25. Yep, renewing bank loans. How many total loans do we have out right now? We have 14 loans. Can we demand money? There's like a demand money from the clergy or something if we need to. Establish new world missions. Native uprising chance, native assimilation. That's kind of cool. I've never used that one before. Um, who can we... Oh, we can ask... The burgers for a con contribution. Okay. Well, that might be something to think about. Because, yeah, at this point, even if we canceled all of our colonies, we'd still be losing money. <laughs> Internal conflicts in the Ottoman Empire. Interesting. Peasant rebels. Muscovy is destroying Crimea. Sweden independent? Nope. Sweden must have lost their independence war. New royal marriage with France. Just have these on target neighbors right now, yeah. Let's go ahead and let's let's see if we can do something a little more useful with these guys. Keep France happy with it, us. Uh, we'll maintain our diplomat in Nova Scotia. We don't want them to get disloyal. They're at zero percent right now, but. Okay, taking out more loans. What are our interest payments looking at? They're up to almost six. I mean, I guess, so let's figure out a worst comes to worst situation. So the least we can spend on army maintenance, let's call it eight. Um, so we could go down, we could go down, that would take us down to four. If we canceled all of our colonizations, or all of our colonization, we'd be making two ducats a month. Uh, lowering fleet maintenance doesn't really do anything for us. Like, even if we disbanded all of our fleets, it wouldn't really do anything. So, let's figure out how much wiggle room we have here. Um, six... Basically eight ducats of wiggle room. So when our balance gets to negative seven point nine, if it's like or seven point five, if it's still going down, um, I mean we can lower inflation again too. But like at that point, that that's when we're like in a bankruptcy spiral that I don't think we can get out of. Also, these comets are not helping. I'm trying to keep our. <laughs> stability up because it boosts our income by even just that slight amount that might save us in the long run but it's also keeping us behind in admin tech pretty reliably at least we have a good admin king having a good admin king is a good thing and native assimilation is a very good thing Okay. Wow, there are some aggressive natives here. It's no wonder our uh, our dudes wanted to be like them. They're uh, they're pretty badass. They're not that fierce, but they're incredibly aggressive. So they've got they've got the heart, if not the skills. Um, and then we're gonna start colonizing this way as well, so that we can get to. Uh, Ochalega eventually. I keep wanting to call it Ottawa, but it's not Ottawa in this timeline. Excellent! We finished three colonies at basically the same time. Oh, these are Arctic provinces, right? 
No. They're all just maritime. They're they're a bit chilly. All right. And we are capped on military power again. Oh, we actually could stand to strengthen our government at this point. Uh, there we go. That'll help somewhat. Native Assimilation and Micmac. All right. This guy who is targeting allies is currently doing nothing. Um, so let's keep one of these on threatening countries. Russia apparently doesn't like us. I don't think they have any beef with us. Oh, they did form Russia, by the way. They're no longer just Muscovy. Discovered an agent in Denmark. Trade failure. Um, we're going to attempt to avert it. Risks of trade. Um, <laughs> let's play the long game. Let's try to play the long game here. Yeah, I think... I think we're probably going to go bankrupt. Um, yeah, we're not buying any, any more uh, admin ideas at the moment. Probably going to go bankrupt, just just to warn you guys. Maybe we'll release uh, <laughs> release our colonial nation and play as them instead. Oh, look, and they're doing their own colonization still, so. We'll need to hit a critical mass where we're making enough money off of the colony to get out of this death spiral. Knowledge is power. End of internal conflicts. Okay, so the Ottomans... Are they still the Ottomans? Osman Oglu. Yeah. I still think their name should change if they're ever not Osman Oglu. Like, it should just... They should become Room or something. Renewing loans... Developing provinces. Ulster, Cork, cool. I mean, we could disband armies too. That's uh. Treason! Um. Nobility loses loyalty. Ulster gets mad. Yeah, we'll punish the perpetrators. So the Pope has proclaimed the colonial Caribbean is the sole domain of England. We're Protestants, so we don't care. Actually. I'd be surprised if England does not eventually go Protestant, because our center of reformation is going to mess them up. Bohemia is the Holy Roman Emperor. Okay, so we can tech up. Here's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to go ahead and put a focus on admin power. Does any of these give us money? No. 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 Um... We're, we're going to have to go economic ideas right away, and we're just going to have to rush <laughs> rush to the end of that uh, as quickly as possible. I'm going to spend a tick on reducing inflation here as well. Because we took, we took expansion already, right? Yeah, we have exploration and expansion. That might be the way out of the death spiral. <laughs> we're just going to barely be able to hang on here, I think, in terms of... Uh, not going bankrupt.